Hey everybody, I'm here with Dale at the Brownstone Tavern on Alexis Road in Toledo. Now, Joy is one of our Facebook viewers. She nominated your Chili Mac. She said it's the best Chili Mac ever. But what else are we gonna be making today? We're gonna be making a garden chicken stir fry. It's uh, one of the few stir fry dishes we have and also one of the most popular. All right, well, let's head back to the kitchen, find Renee making the chili. Ready? Good. All right, Dale, we're heading over to Renee where she is cooking up that chili fresh right here. What's going on here, Dale? We uh, make the chili probably three, four times a week, five gallon buckets. Uh, we make everything from scratch. Some beef in there. What else do we got? Onions. Uh, we got onions, and then she'll puree some green peppers and mushrooms, and then uh, uh, it simmers for about four, four and a half hours. We got the spices. This recipe was developed by my father. It's 26 uh, different spices and ingredients. Chili mac time. Okay, now that's the small and the large would be a full pound of... This is a small? Yes. Wow. The large would come with a full pound of spaghetti. Now this is the finished product right here. Chili, it's got the beef, some beans. That is not a normal serving of cheese. Okay, so we're doing a garden chicken stir fry. We're gonna start off steaming some broccoli. Yeah, I'll take the chicken. Put the chicken on. Okay, we got the onion, zucchini, squash, and red peppers red coming pepper. on in. So this is just one serving? Yeah. It's a big serving right there. I hope you're not hungry because you're not gonna be eating this. All right, Dale, I'm trying this chili mac. It looks good. It's humongous. Joe's not here right now, Dale's dad, but Joe, if you're watching, something that you did with those 26 spices, you did it right. That was really good. Next up, gotta try this garden stir fry. Again, another massive portion. Great flavor, perfect. Thanks so much, Dale, for having me. I can't wait to come back and have more of both of these and try a lot of the other things you have on your menu. And don't forget to visit my Facebook page to vote for your favorite local dishes for Life Tastes Better here.